Okay, this is brew day. My first brew with uh, the new rim system. Okay, probably got about seven, almost eight gallons of water in this. I didn't measure it because I need five in the tank. Um, my uh, manual temperature gauge says about 162. Digital readout here says 163.8. 165, that's my target. My target here, the lights blinking, if that was uh, hooked up to an alarm, it would be going on. And all this it does is show me the temperature of the boiling pot. Same as the digital, th the manual thermometer on the uh, pot. So it's time to pump it. We have water rising in the tank. DC fan is for, uh, oh yeah, see the computer fan over here. That's the intake. There's the exhaust with the screen glued on the bottom. And the heat sink with the SSR. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just to keep the box cool. I have no idea how this relates to with the rims. But we got about five and a third gallons here. There's a lot in the hoses. So there's probably at least five and a half gallons there. I don't know. Okay, my folder says 167 degrees. I trust it. That's the temperature of the net, the strike water right now. And, uh, the digital's reading 166.7. It's couple tenths off so okay water in the mash tun is about 160 161 it's time to put the grain in We got the quick release. You can see the level now. We want this close to the Okay, open that valve. The wort is filled in. Camp is headed back up. 152, 9, 153. A little above on my range. Let's see, I gotta look after this thing. Okay, I just ran the auto tune with uh, wort in it instead of water. We're getting fluctuating temperatures. Seems to be going up. Flashing light indicates the elements coming on. Set to 152. This is 155. We've got a temperature in the middle of the grain bed of 153.
Got a nice slow flow. The temperature in the middle of my grain bed is 154 now according to the boulder. And you've got 153.8. The heater's still flashing off and on. I just had auto tuned it with the uh, with the ward in it. Let me check the settings. My temperature uh, adjustment, I got it set 1.6 degrees higher because it was off. Input. After auto tuning with the wart, P is 3.19. I is 25.5, D is 6.37. These numbers are not what I had in there. My temperature continues to raise. I'm going to have to change the numbers back. Six minutes into the mash, or <laughs> 36 minutes to go of the hour. We've got 152. I calibrated the uh, PID, just a few tenths. Of course, you calibrate the number, not the degree, so it corresponds somehow. And I'm holding it 152. Up here, holding 152. There is 33, 32 minutes left in the uh, in the mash. I am going to fill the. Uh, Put about six gallons of water in there so I can make sure that we heat it up to a, probably 170 and uh, pump it into my sparge container, which is this uh, igloo here. With five gallons, fill it up. Plan on flushing it with four. Um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, it's holding at 151. It's 7, 8, 9, 152. It goes up and down just a few tenths. Um, the light indicates the elements flashing on and off. I don't really like that. But the auto tune seems to have, uh, well, what seemed to have taken care of it is me readjusting the calibration about four numbers. And. In the middle of the mash, we have 152. We have 24 minutes left. I'm gonna got about 
five and a half gallons in there. I'm going to put six and a half gallons to make sure I got enough to fill that container, to fill the sparge container. The level now reads with the grain in it, six and a half gallons. But uh, all I want this for is to measure the sparge water, or the, the strike water, to me the mash water. Um, that means nothing right now. It just means it's full of grain. The water seems to stay in there. I don't see the wort in there. Um, so it's going to be easy to clean. Somebody asked me about that. It's going to be easy to clean anyway. It comes off. There's one washer o-ring there. And it's open at the top. One fifty one point eight, one fifty two, just a few tenths off. And down here on the digital we're at one fifty two. Everything is and there's no clogs. The word in the uh in the flow meter seems to be unobstructed and working perfect. It's working flawless. With uh eight minutes left in the uh in the mash. I've got water heated up to 121 and going. So that'll be about perfect. Two minutes left in the mash. Um, water temperature. This is looking beautiful mash temperature. Uh, the boil pot temperature right now is going to be the strike water or the sparge water it is at 144. I noticed that it wasn't turned up all the way so turned it up all the way now. Um, I'm going to raise the temperature here to 100 and to my sparge temperature. Sparge, yes, to my sparge temperature. In one minute, one and a half minutes. Let me go see what the sparge temperature is. Okay, that'd be 168. And I want to heat. I, I want to heat the this water up to at least 168. And. Uh, this I'll get up to 168 so when the water comes in it doesn't cool it off and just start doing its thing right away. Been over three minutes. Water temperature is now one the rinse water, sparge water, is now 167 on the left. 168. where we want to be, but we're going to heat it a little hotter for uh, cool down in the tank, in the hose, in the pump. Water in the boiling pot is now 176. I'm going to pump it into the uh, tank. Everything's open. Seem to be any problems. 